What's going on? We're going to cover installing Google Analytics 4 on Blogger, which is the free content management system or CMS that Google offers. You can use this platform to easily create a blog or website. Go to analytics.google.com or search for Google Analytics and it should appear as the first result. If you don't have an account already, this is the landing page that you'll see. So click on start measuring and begin to create your account. If you already have access to a GA account, go to admin and click on create account. We're brought to the same account creation screen. So we'll give this a name and take a look at the settings to figure out which one you want to enable. I'm going to check off the first one because I want the enhanced demographics and interest reporting. We'll click next and set up our first GA4 property. Give the property a name and set the correct time zone. And then you're going to click on show advanced options. Now this is where we'll enable the universal analytics property. Slide this toggle over to the right so that it turns blue. Select your HTTP prefix and input your website URL. Make sure that both of these options are selected because we want a GA4 property and a universal analytics property. And then we want this enhanced measurement for GA4 property enabled because that'll automatically set up tracking such as link clicks and embedded videos as well as a few other events. Click on next and you can choose to input this business information, but it's optional. But we'll click on create and it'll bring us to the terms of service, which we'll have to accept in order to proceed. Instead of creating a reporting view like you did with Universal Analytics, we're brought to this screen with WebStream details. To add the analytics tag directly to your site, click on Global Site Tag. Copy the code that appears, go to the blogger settings for your website, and in the left navigation, click on Theme. And then in the customize drop down menu, click edit HTML. Find the opening head tag and paste the code that you copied. The second method is to add the analytics tag using a tag manager like Google Tag Manager or GTM for short. Go to tagmanager.google.com. And once the page loads, you'll see that you'll need to create a new account. So the account name can be your organization name. And the container can be similar to what you named your properties. So the target platform that you select is the type of web property that you're tracking. So click on create accept the terms of service. Then you'll see the instructions to install GTM. So copy this first snippet of code, go to your HTML, we'll remove the snippet from the previous example, and we'll paste our code as high up in the head tag as possible. You'll notice that there are two characters in red font. That indicates an error in the HTML. So what you'll need to do is type in AMP and semicolon, and that'll fix the error. Go back to the instructions, copy the second snippet of code, go to the HTML, find the opening body tag, and paste that snippet of code right after the opening body tag there. Close this out, and in this overview section, 
click on Add a New Tag. Click in the Tag Configuration and choose Google Analytics J4 Configuration. Go back to the tagging instructions in your GA tag. Now that you have the GTM code in your HTML, click on Use Existing On-Page Tag and copy your measurement ID. Go back to your GTM tab and paste your measurement ID in that field. Next, we'll set up the trigger that will fire this tag. So click in the triggering section and choose this all pages trigger. So this tag will fire whenever a page loads. And we'll name this tag GA4 configuration and save it. Now we can see if our tag works. Click on preview and publish the empty container. So once the container is published, click on preview in the model or the preview button next to the submit button in the top right. Then what will happen is a new tab will load where you'll input your URL for the website. So once you do that, click on start. This will load the next page as well as a new tab. And here on this page, we'll see in the lower right corner that the preview mode debugger has been connected. If you go back to the previous tab, you'll also see the same success indicator. Click on continue. And what you'll see here is that tag assistant shows you the tags that have fired and the tags that haven't. This shows us our GA configuration tag fired successfully. Next, go to your UA property so you can connect your GA4 account. That way you can send data to both properties. Before you do that, make sure you've copied your GA4 measurement ID. Now click on the drop down menu at the top, choose the account you want and under properties and apps you'll see your UA property. Your UA property will have your UA tracking ID. Note that only your UA properties have a tracking ID that begins with UA. In the admin section under the property column click on tracking info and tracking code. Scroll down to connected tags, click on the down arrow on the right, and paste your GA4 measurement ID. Now click connect. We already added the GA4 configuration tag on the website, but if you're adding completely new tracking to your website, you still need to add the universal analytics tag. So click the X, Look for your UA tracking ID, copy it, and go to your blogger website, the settings in the left navigation, and click on Google Analytics property, and paste the UA tracking ID that you copied. Done. That's it. Easy. Okay, now we'll test our tracking. So load your website and then go to GA, the real-time report in the Universal Analytics property. And there's our page view, yep, less than 15 seconds ago. And then check the GA4 property. Now with GA4, I've noticed that a number of users have issues in that it's not as responsive as Universal Analytics. So the events might lag behind for GA4. But here we have our page view event. So we're good to go. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.